Wonderful. This couple here has been a blessing. It's still a blessing. It's going to be a blessing even in the future time to come. And uh, thank you so much for fixing your time to always come and help God's people out there. You did a great job the other Monday you were here. Yeah, and uh, how was the feeling? I'll never give up. Mm. <laughs> it was amazing. Though I came late, yeah. I, I, I left office late and I jammed, so I just fell on set like this. Yeah. Things started. Yeah. It was a mixture. Yeah, but you're a speaker. You've spoken for a long time yeah. now. Yeah. It's a beautiful morning, people. Um, we are starting right now with men. The men that love their wives more than their children. For example, Sandra came into your life. You had children. Yeah. Definitely so bad that the mom of those children had passed on. They need love. They need someone to feel the vacuum in there. And more especially, it will be you to help them and the new mother to bridge that gap. Here you are. You found a new catch. And all the love is poured on this woman. Does that have a problem? From the from the start, the the mother yeah. and the father supposed to love children, and the and the father have the mother and the mother have the father, and the, the, all the, the family become complete. Yeah. Now, if you love, if the mother comes in and loves the children, definitely. It, it becomes a whole complete set. Mm. And the way God intended it to be. You find there is no problem. The problem comes in when someone comes, let's say a mother comes in and loves you and does not love the children. Then it becomes a problem. Then you find oh, the, you love the, the woman mm. and you leave the children. Mm. But all when it comes in there, it comes the way God intended it. The woman loves the children more, the way, definitely. And you have to have the love to their mother. And definitely you have to be loving the children. Mm. Yeah. I love the children so much. Actually, people used to say that there is no woman who will come into your life because of <laughs> the way you love the children. But when I got the, my wife, who loved the children even almost more than I loved the children, my heart got settled, and mm. I have nothing to So work. what happens with those, what happens with that, mm. you know? Baba Kochichamo, or it's just them? Go sang anga yaya gadde, umami we, kusinga, abana, basanzi. Okay, from perspective, um, the fear of God is very important. Kuba Baibe Gamba, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Mm. So when you fear that God, Wisdom comes to you, and wisdom is the word itself. For you to understand that these are children are heritage from God. From That's God, what yes. the Bible says. That's right. The Bible also says he he, he will see that the, the, the orphans get uh, vindication. Yes. These are half orphans in this scenario. There yeah. is being a full orphan and a half orphan. Mm. So you find these children with their father, they are half orphans. So why do I say the fear of God is very important? In fact, when, mama, when you get into this marriage, you're very fearful of those children. Actually, new courtship wasn't about, hey, I'm getting married. Hey, hey. Okay, it was there, but it began, I began prepping for being a mother to children who are not biologically mine. I yeah. began prepping myself, going to the internet, reading, finding out what the Bible says. So I entered there fearfully. It's one thing I love about women, um, mm -hmm. people out there watching. Women, thank you so much because you yearn for information. Mm -hmm. I, I, yesterday we were talking to a certain lady. She had a few issues, uh, you know, a few months ago. My own wife, 
uh, my friends' wives. Mm. You hear them speaking. I was on the internet. Mm. I was searching for this. Mm. I was searching for this. Mm. While for us, we are folding hands. <laughs> Men out there. We know know it's all. We know what to do. Yet no one is complete in wisdom. You have to keep learning more. Mm. They yearn more, they go an extra mile. Anyway, today mm. your wisdom <laughs> Yes. So to me it was prepping. I even used to talk to my mom. I'm like, okay, mommy, did she like she used to prep me. Yeah. I used to prep myself. So I knew what it means to have these children in my hands. Mm -hmm. Last time in my previous shows, I used to tell you that parents mm, mm. are just vessels that God uses to bring children on earth. The same way it happened with Mary and Jesus. Mm. She was just a vessel mm. where Jesus was placed and then she brought him forth. Yeah. Joseph wasn't even part of the sex beat for him to come. Yeah. She was just used as a vessel. So the same applies to us. We mothers, we are vessels God uses and are men to bring children forth. Mm? Mm. There are two types of being a vessel. There is you conceiving the baby and there is a baby being given over to you. Yes. Please carry on this responsibility. Yes. So in my prepping, I realized God is handing me over his children. Yeah. Who he is very, very protective of. So mm. Mm? Mm. By the way, people normally say, I want God to bless me. I want God to bless me. At times, you don't even need to ask for the blessings. At times, you just need to do something right for the blessings to follow you. When you do right, blessings are you, you you attract blessings it's like a law of attraction mm. that's why the bible says a prayer of a righteous man availeth much yeah, yeah. it didn't say the level of righteousness matters uh -huh. even if it's a small pinch you can be righteous at being a single mom a step mom and that God, this will make sense. If you don't have the fear of God to you, mm. this will be trash. Yeah. Well, you, you, yes, sir. Uh, actually, to me, if you fear God from the beginning, yeah. If you fear God, you follow God, you follow God's steps. Mm -hmm. It direct, He directs you from the from the beginning. And for me, I remember when I was praying for to get a wife. Yeah. I prayed, I remember I told you I married at 36. Yeah. But before God answered me that here is the wife, he just first showed me the family. He showed you a family? He showed me the family. He showed me I had boys. I had actually the dream. I had boys behind you. Actually, we were in the, at home ministering, singing, we were worshiping. The boys were behind the machines, mm. praying. Then I had two daughters mm. holding mics, microphones, mm. singing. Then, and showed me the, the kind of the house. It was so clear. So I said, now I haven't given them. For me, I, I embarked on what he showed me. Started, I, I, had, I got a, a plot. I, uh, I got an architect to make my brand the way I, I saw it. Had a problem with him, say, you are making a church, but oh, this, is, this is the house I saw, and this is the house I want. We had a problem with that, and eventually he agreed with me. But that house, that family, which had two girls, when I got, eventually, when I went back on that, eventually gave me, showed me a woman to marry. Mm. Then, I came to, to we embarked on that process. Then we had one first children. First was a boy. 
first child was a boy, then second or seven now. Even I told her that I saw my children, they are two girls. And when it was by Caesarean, I say now this one, second one, is a girl. We prayed, we knew, we, even we never bothered to ask for the sex. We knew it was a girl. Coming was a boy. It's coming it was a boy. When mm. uh, the, the boy came and say now, we had another chance. Sir. We know that now the third one is a girl. That was all. We know that that is finished. That is, I mean, that was a girl. Mm. Mm. Eventually, became a, a boy. I said, what is that? Sit. And uh, because that's when the time she, she passed on. And was, that's why I said, maybe, was it uh, devil's whisper? I gave it up. Remember Joseph's dream? Yes. He thought that what he dreamed was going to the following day happen. Yeah. But it took him, had to take him to be sold as a prisoner, yeah. to be, to, has to be jailed, all those things. It was not a straight journey. Mm. Also, also, but to me, that was not coming to me. It was not clicking. I said, okay, that was the devil's whisper. Let me, and I, I had some other mis problem with him. I said, I was too honest to you. Then you, you decided to torture me like this. Mm. And I say, God, you are God, but I will never marry again. Then eventually, I don't know, God is surprising. My first daughter, so he gave me, when, when I happened to get a wife, she gave me the, a daughter. Yeah, said, that was my daughter, first daughter. I said, wow. And I was first born with her. It was a girl. What you two now, intrigued? Those uh, two girls which I saw, they came to reality. So I say, God, all you take all those, that's the dream I got 15 years ago. My God. And now it come to pass. Why do I say this? I said, the children, if, if you are not biological children, mm. it is God's plan to be put under your custody. protection. Mm. Under your care. It's Me like what? Jesus. It's like Jesus. Jesus uh, Joseph is not a biological father to Jesus. No. But you see, you know what Joseph did. Yeah. He had to take care, of, uh, protect them, protect Jesus, run to the Egypt, to, to all the, whatever he did. But he was put under his care. So he's put under my care. And it was done even before I saw a wife to marry. So the children in your life comes in not by your intention. It is mm. God's intention. You can imagine if Joseph had mistreated Jesus. I'm telling you, the king of <laughs> kings. The father, you know? <laughs> the king of you kings. Yeah. You, so it, a child coming to your life, it is not you, of God. It is not you, even after all, you have no... <laughs> yeah. At one time, you wanted to chicken out, to say, maybe this girl cheated on me. Yeah, so no. yeah, yeah. God came in and said, no. Mm. That's a rich man. So what do we know? Either you go out, mm -hmm. God forbid, and have a child, mm -hmm. or he goes out, now especially for a man, mm -hmm. and you're already in your marriage. Mm -hmm. Now you for no one. Yeah, you cheat on your friend and you cheat on your, on your wife. Mm. How easy is that for you to embrace, not for the women? How easy can that be? Because I've heard countless women say, Bondete rango mwa nanga singa vange obukuru. Siri na buzibu. Nebu oleto mwa nanga. Nga mutoku vange. That means waweta makona mbufumbo wa fe. And she says, I will never forgive that. I will never forgive that man. Mm. <laughs> Stuff <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> uh, mm. Of course, cheating is one sin. sin. Yeah, yeah. But when the child comes in, the child is very innocent. 
there is no way how mother can stand up and say, you are my step child, you are my step son, my step daughter, I will never... Auntie Gori, Mr. Jeff, Baba Jagam, what do you say for a, for a, for, for a woman, for a genuine woman mm. out there? Agama and Inze. Eto ne chimbala chimba kovu loko yu nene nambu ya ambula. Wow. Okay, first of all, it's very heartbreaking for your friend to cheat on you. And like I normally tell you, the Bible says there is a season for everything. So there is a season to be mad, to cry, to even speak all the words you can speak. It is the normal. We shall not hear and we shall not be here and pretend, but no, you have to act sweet. No, that season is there. They call it being shocked. Yeah? yeah, they brought you a shocker, so your reaction is natural. That it is about it is the accurated the proof. No cheating. After <laughs> after the reflex action disappears, yeah. the shock. Mm. You're supposed to come to this understanding that actually this baby is innocent, and that baby mm. God has a purpose for that baby. Let me tell you, or Montu yena aton they were under under the purpose of God. They die either miscarriage or a childbirth or something. Mm. The mere fact that this child is living, this child has a purpose. I found someone who told me they like your way of thinking that is not really, there are people who are legalistic. Oh. And uh, for them, you don't tell them anything like that. The other mm. thing you said, my pastor allowed me to minister in church after mm. being pregnant. Hi! How? <laughs> Some people are like, how? How do you sin? And you keep on the pulpit ministering. Get out. Go and suit yourself. Mm. And, <laughs> and then for you, you're like, my pastor was fine with me. Mm. So people think your pastor kind of obeys. What? Who accepts that? So here you are saying, mm. oh, no, you are innocent. But that's the truth. Let me tell you, mm. we, as Christians, if we say now we are, Christ, we are, we are born again Christians, eh? yeah, we yeah. have to get away from the mindset of the world. We do not live by what the world, what world thinks or says, yeah. or the standards of the world. We live by the standards of the scriptures. It's our manual. So if God says forgive 77 times, 77 times, I'm applying the principles of God. So if my pastor let me come back on the pulpit, he was fulfilling the, 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 the scripture which says, do not judge. All are fallen short of my glory. Even though your stained as dark as red, I wash you as white as snow. Mm -hmm. And you, I forget your sins and new beginnings. Mm -hmm. So my pastor put that into picture and he forgave. Mm. And I'm back. Life was normal again. And I think the fruits of his action are evident. My ministry, I speak to, I inspire 5,000. Plus. 250 women. women every night and the numbers are growing. I inspire 150 men every night. That's a ministry that came out of this man selflessly telling me. If he had pushed you away. It wouldn't. So these women in marriages mm. that push away, that shun, that show hate feelings towards the children that their husbands have had, mm. regardless yeah. of uh, how they got them. Mm. Yes. Let me tell you. When the man goes out there and sins, he's, they, they are human, they fall short. And, and Rakuba, it is so outrageous, yeah. yes. Mm. But after forgiving, you let him come back with his baggage. Because now that baby, if, if maybe the mother is not willing to take care of the baby, or if the man wants the baby to grow with him, you can't refuse that. At times, it's purposeful. It's God, it happens for a reason. And me, I think to women who are out there, take mm. it as an opportunity to say, having a child you don't give birth to physically mm, mm. is a ministry. Ministry is not only about being on a pulpit, being a pastor, being in choir. <laughs> you can accept that ministry as a way of actually telling God, let me accept this ministry of nurturing this child into the child you've called him or her to be. But let the price be Safeguarding my marriage. Mm. You always have to look for positivity in every situation. Yes, there is that negative side, but also pick the positive bit. If it were me, I'll be like, okay, let the ministry come. Father, let the price be. I'm taking in this child. Let the, 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 the payment be 
let my marriage never ever go back to such levels of, 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 of you yeah. know, on brokenness. A, on a, uh, a man bringing in a child. Yeah. When okay, when during even the, the, the marriage. The marriage. Mm. Uh, you see, a man has already seen, but it again his responsibility to look after to bring up that child mm. as a father. He has to bring that child, bring the protection, give everything. Provision, he's shelter. He's supposed to do as even yeah. if it was there, as a real father. Now, if a woman, you are there, chase that child, or you don't wish that child to be in home, mm. you are not helping your husband, number because one. You are helping. Number two, you are helping, you are not helping the husband to bring out that his oh, actually, what's money? Mm. Do you could actually new generation pushing your husband to keep on having a relationship with, with the, the other, other woman. woman exactly kubanga mgenzi so wala zukubela na mwana wa msaju abereli na nyina abereli na nyina we need to pay the price when the bible says for better when you're taking those vows for better for us yeah mm. the worst beat has come about why now was very on the damn sand when we were bagamba. telling vows, we didn't say apart from this. Bagamba, anti inzi. Nina vi njo gumi ya ne wadu vi sija gumi da. Ibi mo. Kati ya bakazi tu ino baya mbao. Do you know what the Bible means by saying dying to the world? That's what they call dying to the world. You subdue your feelings, your emotions, your anger, your everything just to do the right thing. And it will pay you up. There was a price for that. There is a blessing that comes with that. Take it some people have walked out of those marriages without you know, taking all those things into consideration. I know. The world is so outrageous. You could fall from a fire to a flying pan. <laughs> so when you get something that life has offered you, look around it. How can you make beauty out of it? God is beauty for ashes. There is ugliness in this, but you can make beauty out of it. Honestly speaking, Mr. Bengana, God forbid, far be it, even I don't even think will ever happen. Sandra created the one. Yes, of course, God forbid. Yes, I mean, I'm not the Far be it, God forbid. I created the one. When you married, how long have you been married right now? Yes, yeah, seventh year. Seventh year now. And uh, your babies are grown, the boys, the girls. And here yeah, she is. She comes with a pregnancy. As you said, mm -hmm. it takes God, first of all. Of course, the anger is there. We are human. What would, your first, what would your first reaction be there? Slap, beat, you know, no. throw cupboards <laughs> and cups no, here? The one thing, how to manage anger, you, don't, you shouldn't react what comes out in your head. To push it out. It is better you first have it and then think about it. Think about it. A second thought. That helps a lot. Even in other aspects. Something hits you, just sit back and have a, a second thought. It will help you. Mm. Yeah, to manage your anger. That one, of course, as a human being, that one has to be there. That anger has to come. Yeah. The second thing, this child is an innocent child. If in a, does he have where to go? This is their mother. Now your question is, do you need to send our, the, 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 your wife away? <laughs> That's going to be the, qu the question. And what does the Bible, what the, does the Bible say? Mm -hmm. they maybe say, Bible say and, uh, uh, when they, they, there is a cause for adultery. But you are a, a human being. You are about... Jesus, what sin, what... We, we sacrifice human beings, sacrifice Jesus. We killed Jesus. That was the worst. He said, He didn't know what. He didn't know what. So, what other sin? Sin is far bigger than that. There is no sin which cannot be forgiven. Any short for you say, I'm just sending you away. I'm just. You know, you are not. You are. God does not. There is a way you are falling short. Mm. Yeah. You too bless my life. I fall in love with you, the Banganas, every day. And I'm blessed Thank to be part you. of the ministry. 
do things for hosting them and you're looking good too. Oh, am I? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> network is again confusing us. I think it's being worked on right now. God bless you, Mr. Bengana, for that love. I love the re I love the real you, Mama. That's the point for sure. Thank you. Um, so true. He cheats, and you have evidence, but the child is very innocent. As Christians, we should never show the uh, uh, hate feelings to the babies. How are you doing? It's been a while. When you push the baby away, you push him closer to the baby man. You put you push the yeah. man closer to the baby mama. Yeah. Uh, close the Nasuna Jalia. Mr. Bengana na Cassandra, thank you very much for being open minded. Yeah. I'm telling you this is Jumtechisan, you catch my wish to all right. Uh, basically to in a binge near begin a mass on Mubant to an abafum and stepfathering and stepmothering is not easy yeah. Yeah. at all, like at all. Now there are these men here. Yeah. Uh, she came with a child and they are okay and, and there are men who have gone ahead and raped and sexually abused their because your wife's child is your child. Yeah. Much as Dava Mutumbozo. Yeah. As I've told you, this is an example which someone, maybe God may know. To me, God showed me the family, showed me two girls. With the other father, the late, I failed to get girls whom I saw. It was very clear. Here comes, he brings me a first daughter. He brought me that a clear indication that this is my child. Yeah. Even I got that child even having any woman in my life. What happens to such fathers that do that? Now, to the that is Chiba Chichi Madu, the, Zimo. Uh, that that person I of course I can't think I can't take, I can't know because he can he can even kill a person. No, the, I got, it goes it's back just, to the basic principle. The fear of God is key. That's why single moms, you have to be very careful which kind of man you bring in your child's life. It matters. Don't just get anyone you pick in a club or on the street. They could be a rapist for God's I'm sake. I'm telling you. Get someone who has the fear of God in them, who will understand the basic that actually this, father, this man is supposed to be a father and not looking at your child in the dimension of a, 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 a wife. Let me tell you, God acknowledged this. When you look at the scriptures where it talks about incest, yeah. God was streamlining what he calls incest. Yeah. Do not even say that your mother's daughter though is not from your father it talks about something like yeah. that cut on such agenda ahead and rapes my child that man has no fear of god in them because when you have the fear of god in you there is conscience before you act even when you try to attempt to like oh my god but a man who goes because me I, I met a poor who tell me they go through this mm. the fathers are doing bad eh? mm, mm. so the fear of god is kikati definition how do you define the atmosphere under which your child should grow? That role goes back to the mother and father. As a mother, you have to, not to just jump because you love that guy. Me, when I was falling in love with him, my feelings came later. I was first looking out for my daughter. Will, be, will she be safe? Mm. Because she's going to grow, she'll get the boobs, she'll get hippie. Who is around her? Very important. You get eh? mm. So I had to study this man. He had to be worth it. When I saw that in him, I'm like, now you can have me because you're worth to be called my father, my daughter's dad. She's safe with you. You are a different woman because other women will be mm. it will be their love to this man first. Does mm. he love me? That's being selfish. That's why you see women taking kids to their grandmothers just to come to the marriage. Hey. That is being so selfish. Hey. This is vanity. I'm with Jacob. Yes, but this is see. vanity. Your child comes first because God gave that child to you. She's in my space. Yes. My, no. my. The no. same applies to the men. Mm. Don't just look at the hippie me and the beautiful me and you're like, you're in love with me. First study me. Can I be a mother to your children? Do you think I'll be that mother figure? If I'm not, look beyond my beauty because marriage is not about this. It fades. It does. Now, even before you say <coughs> you are going to marry, you must be first be a real man. What Anything, does that mean? any male can be. Say you see a male, <laughs> but it can be a man. But you must be a real man before I say I want to marry. 
First of all, a, a real man fears God, loves God. And you cannot love God when you are not praying. You will get astray. You have to pray. Mm. You have to love God. And this is the God who will lead you, even to that woman you are going to marry. Mm. Now, if you are not a real man, that's what will come up in marriage. Sad you stuff. Are, yeah. <laughs> there, first of all, that is your, your, that is your daughter. Regardless whether you are the one, as long as it is in your hands, that is your daughter. Iriyavan abachara ba ingira o nga asanzo mo na nga mukuru. There was the competition for the husband, for the father, for the love of this man. Competition. Kati don't let me tell you. People have to understand this. Hmm? We've been going, we've been straying. It's time we get back on board eh? to take the principles. Is you know, when you're entering a marriage, where are you going to find children? Don't just jump and say, I've found a spouse. Now start even praying for favor. But when you go there, that God will go before you and favor you before those children, that they will take you as their own. Me, I prayed and fasted for that. I told you when the kids came, they hugged me, Mommy. That's something I've been fasting and praying for. So mm. automatically God came and God looks at intention. Really, can God deny you that? Mm. Favor from the children? Mm. You hit every evil spirit that would bring in something that would put the kids away from you. And you pray. When the kids come in, there is an atmosphere of God because you prayed for his presence to descend in your marriage. So it would be automatic. I've never struggled with my kids to accept me as a mother. It's automatic. But I prayed and fasted for it. Courtship, dating is not jumping and saying I've gotten a man. Mm. You even begin preparing. Because the kwanjula, the wedding and everything finally gets done. The sh I call it the show of time. Yeah. And then reality sets in. Mm -hmm. we, for example, on our honeymoon, we had a honeymoon for just three days. Yeah. I was a young sure girl. Not. I wanted a very big honeymoon. Hmm? He told me we have to go back early because we've left the kids. No maid. That was the first thinking in me that, okay, Sandra, it is time to take over your role. I'm like, okay. But I was prepared. If I wasn't prepared, I'd be like, this guy now, I want to enjoy my honeymoon. He's telling me of the kids. Am I not important? That's where the seed begins of hating the children. But I knew the kind of father he mm. is. He loves his kids. Mm. So I have to come along and partner with him to be a helper that I'm supposed to be. Mm. And in me, I very knew well my blessings will come from that. I have a relative I know. She's late. She mistreated the children of her core. Eh? The whole village knows. Later on when the kids were around in P7, she died. Mm. Hmm? Mm. She left now the children. Let me tell you, those children have suffered in hands of stepmothers. Those children have had the worst of life. But you know where it comes from? Because their mother sowed such a seed. Now their children are the first generation of that curse. So all these things are things you have to know. But they come from you knowing God. Knowing God is a basic principle in yeah. everyone's life. Yeah. We're not doing these things because we are perfect. We are not. We keep falling short. We struggle. Being a mother to kids you've not given birth physically is a struggle. There are times when you fall, when you get up, but each time you're reminded because the foundation of God is in you. And you know he's watching. And you know you're trusting him to give you a financial breakthrough, a job, a good marriage, prosperity in your business. You know you can't go before him and kneel mm. and say, Father, please promote, grow our company, and then I'm mistreating children. He will not listen to my prayers. Why? Because I'm a tyrant. So I know before I come before God, I have to be clean. Being clean means I have yes to repent if I did something wrong to the children he interested me with. But then I also know if I keep saying, Father, forgive me, and I'm doing it intentionally, I'm judged. By how much I know. Luliwali mutokati okuze. You're judged by how much you know. Today he'll forgive tomorrow. Third time you'll be like, but... You're taking me for granted. Mm, mm. So um, to I know when a foundation here by him being a good dad to my daughter is because he has a foundation of God in him. Siriaba na bawa na bawa ne wabuedo. 
yet bandi bade mu home setting in Nungi mm. because of either the men or the women that have decided to see what is done and go so much now and then go to the devil we must have an angel with you see the cabin it's better than this man you know the price they pay yeah. such such women the price they pay i'm giving a scenario a guy finally dies and then 50 kids are coming and you have to divide whatever you worked for your entire youth with those kids because the law is there Yes, you, you can't <laughs> deny blood. Do you want such shockers? No. I have a lady I know who died earlier when her husband had originally died because it was too much of a shock. The, the, the guy had so many kids she didn't know. Na yo musanji aliba kukweka kubango mugoba. Nkodinte kati habana mba anilizi. Let me tell you, as I've said, the, 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 the bottom line yeah. is that person to have God on in her. That is the bottom line. Once you have God in you, whatever, yes, there will be uh, uh, a sin, you can be betrayed you, yes, fine. But once the child comes in, that child, even if that child is rebellious, it is your role as a parent. That child was brought in on earth Specifically to be in your hands. And even if the child is rebellious. Even if the child is rebellious. Because, like you say, you suppose your child is the one who is rebellious. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you run? Do you throw the child away? Let me no. tell you, people should now learn to understand the principles of God. It is such a honor to raise the next generation. Look at us today. It is such a honor for whoever raised us to be who we are today. These people are blessed. When they are dead or wherever they are alive, they look on the screens and they are like, wow, my dad recently was watching me and my mom, and I saw them getting tears. They are like, wow, my dad told me, I knew you're confident, I didn't, I didn't know you were this. I'm like, daddy, this is the girl you raised. Do you see that honor? Mm. Do you see the honor that you have to raise the next generation that is coming after you're gone? Mm. It is such a honor, so why do you chase it away? Don't you want to be remembered in history? Jaja wa jaja. Bamu itanga bainga na yazala gundi muriobu elu tinako la buwati. We should leave a legacy on earth. I think you yeah. mentioned a very, very important there statement when you said that if, if your wife's child or your husband's child was rebellious and you feel like you want to send them to the village or wherever, but they mm. would you do the same to your own your child, child if your child was rebellious? Mm. Think about it. You are bringing yeah. a point there. Mm. Yeah, it is, uh, for, for example, if you, first of all, why do you chase away that, that child? What is the basis? Selfishness. It's selfishness. And anger. You want the, 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 the property. And so what else? What else? Hey, the anger. Yeah, that's all. The anger, the anger would have just, just away your husband. That anger is you should. There is no way. Say I have. I'm. I'm angry. Then you, the kid go. No. It is selfishness. That's it. Now, why do you chase away the child? You know, first of all, think about you. Suppose you are own child. If you think about that one, even if you don't have God in you, that one alone, if you are not selfish, you will think twice and say, yeah, let the child stay. <coughs> Actually, me, the way I treat these children, it, it, I, 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 in the early years of my marriage, one of the things practical I used to use to make myself be the best mother, yeah. I used to imagine, I loved my daughter so much, I still love her so much. You get it? Eh? But yeah. now, now they are six, so I have to divide the love. Hmm? Yes. I imagined what if it was me that had died, and my daughter has to be given to a woman out there. Who would she be? The time I used to be in the mirror, and I used to tell myself, woman, wherever you are, you are a hero that you died putting forth a child. One thing I'm promising you, I know I'm supposed to talk to the dead, you are safe they are safe god help me they are safe i'll do a great job because i used to put myself in the shoe if it were me and i died and i left my daughter but i loved that girl who was going to raise her 
Think about it. Which woman? So each time I could get angry, I used to be this clean woman. I want clean walls and everything. Now you get into a marriage. Ha! The white walls are that in one week. Yeah. Right you now get my whole, All my walls are full of yes. paint. Yes. Pens and pencils. Pencils. And <laughs> chairs, I, yes. get knives and cuts. You know? <laughs> so I reached a point of saying these imperfections will want would once be perfect when they grow. Yeah, yeah. Eh? So I'm like, okay, God, the way I would want my daughter to be treated is how I'm going to treat these kids. But you grant me long good life to raise my children to the point of seeing them getting married, graduates, have grandkids. Because it's so fearful leaving your child to the world, not knowing who is carrying on the responsibility next. I know. Have you had challenges of uh, stepfathering? Yes. No. Because Shocking. From where to go? The child, I have, I have that one child. Yeah. It's a stepfather. As I've told you, that child was given to me even like I married. This is not for the, this is not just no. for the camera. You're not saying this for the camera, mm -hmm. right? No. The, he's I, more close I to the I told my dream a long time ago. Even the we are at courtship. Mm. Told them, even the late. You remember she died when she were looking for the girl. True. And the girls how the the girls I have now. It is Zoe and our first and those are the two girls. I mentioned two girls fifteen years ago, which I saw. And these the two girls we have. I saw that that girl was given to me fifteen years ago before seeing any woman. She's my daughter. Wow. No, nobody else. Now, how do I have a problem? Have you had challenges? To my child. Yeah. It's a ministry. <coughs> you get So you, you translated that into that. Because I'm, I'm telling you guys, out there. You know, th that one brings in that much, you may not have had a voice so grim to that, that person. But that person, like Jesus, as I've said, was brought into hands of Joseph. Yeah. That child is brought into your hands. It, is, it was not by mistake. Mm -mm. It was not by mistake. If it was by mistake, then you would have got some. You have got some another mm -hmm. spouse. That's right. Then, okay. Yeah. Me, what I'm saying is this: people should learn to look ahead. Hmm? Mm. The moment you're not a visionary, you'll never go further in life. You're supposed to be a visionary. I'm that type of person. I'm, I always look ahead. So, there is this in me. He has trusted me with this. If I make the best out of it, I have blessings that come with this. Mm. So, that is the first visionary I have. Yeah. Blessings. And I've seen him. My life has not been hard ever since I embraced the responsibility called the ministry mm. of raising those children. Secondly, my greatest fear, this is now my greatest fear, is me to get in my old age. Mm. And I'm in my old chair in my house. Mm. And my three boys don't even want to come and check on me. And they are out in the world with their wives and kids. They can't even trust me with their grandchildren. Mm. My greatest dream is to age gracefully whereby my three boys, who are not biologically mine, driving every day in the driveway, telling, Mommy, we are coming. We are here. Here are the kids. Mommy, to that day. Mommy, this. Mommy, pray for us. To me, that would be an accomplishment. Whatever I would be struggling with to go again is like, what is it? What? Mm, mm. Why not do this role and feel the fulfillment that, yes, I'm proud I did a good job. I want my sons one day to stand up on their graduation, on their wedding, on their house opening, whatever they is. And they're like, Mommy, come. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the woman that raised us. To me, that is accomplishment. Accomplishment is not the money. It mm. comes and goes. There are children out there that have heavy hearts, that have not forgiven um, the step parents. But yeah, but okay. But the children have never forgiven because of the way they were mistreated. Of course, but my neighbor outgrowing. Uh, yeah, they never, 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 never outgrowing. Yeah, waka never vow. They go get married and all those things. Yeah. Some of them you talk to them and feel like 
wana jetu dio boda mbota mbola mukama tumwe baza na yo mukaze oyo mukaze oyo kazo si sobola so olabo mwana ono bwagenda okubanti kwanga bota sonyiwa katonda ga nawe tosonyiwa na ye omwana no amuletira okubera no go mutimu go bota sonyiwa kati kulurwe kulurwo aina bya tawana na byo and that we, people are facing those things mm. in that life mm. how far has this disturbed abantu mm. that thing it mm. choke mistreating mm. omwana zinda kubulira ko omwana yali ayumba ngalwana almost in a step mother way vakumwami omukaza gamba vakumwami wange no mwala gamba vakutata wange omwala gamba wansanga wange omukaza mm. gamba nakusanga ona yoyo bawa mm. Everybody taking ownership. I deal with people at times who open up to me and they tell me, Sandra, my husband is this anger type of guy. He drinks, he has anger, he hates, mm. he mistrusts me. But it's a result of the stepmom, of how the stepmom raised me. Mm. So me actually even listening to these stories is putting me a lot in check as a mother. And yeah. I'm like, wow, this is to the extent that which people go through. You get eh? mm. But I think it goes back to the individual that has been hurt in such a way. Gunoguba mm? mugugu, mm. siku blaming aguba mugugu because really someone making you such to be in such pain is really something bad. Yeah. And it's a burden on you. Yeah. The first step is carry that burden and take it back to God because he says, Come to me all who are heavy laden. Yeah. I'll Do you know why you have to give this burden to God? Mm -mm. Because it's that same God. Who is the father to you both to you and that step mom and surprisingly he loves you both when she says i'm sorry let me tell you he forgives her straight away straight away and forgets now you are still holding on someone who was forgiven by the same father you serve at times it looks as if it's unfair but no he's trying to teach us humanity mm -hmm. i'm forgiving i'm giving this burden to you they say you're the prince of peace give me back the peace I wasn't created like this. I'm supposed to be a peaceful person from within. Give me back the peace. When you get back the peace, actually even before you get back the peace, you're supposed to forgive and release. You know why? Because each time you get on your knees, the Bible says, first go back and sort things out with your brother. That's right. Forgive. Forgive. When you forgive and release someone, you're, you're also releasing your destiny because you you want to pray and your prayers are hitting a wall and a wall. coming back to you because you your heart is heavy mm. so break the wall and release let go deal with the person and go forth as we get to one i'm going to speak to the step uh, children out there that have those heavy hearts um also the the people that you think because you told me you have a stepchild, she has stepchildren. Yeah. And it's like everything has been okay, yeah. smooth from the, what has been the strength? What has helped you? Because if you meet parents out there, women and people that have had children along the way that don't, are not biological theirs. I'm as Yeah, first from the, I want to talk to the, to the men, step, stepfathers. Mm. You are a head of the family. I've given you an example of Joseph. Yeah. You are head of the family. If a woman, if your wife came with your ch that child, even if she goes out and bring that child, mm. be an exemplary, be a real man. A real man does not beat a wife. A real man. A real man. Some so men say that women provoke them. My how many times do we soul. provoke God? How <laughs> many times has, has how many times has he forgiven us? I know. I know. So <laughs> provoking is there. It is part of life. <laughs> yeah, that, that <laughs> is, <laughs> that's, that's what will make you a real man. A real man is not. No. A, <laughs> I want to be a real man. Um. Protect that child. Nurture that child, it is your responsibility. Nobody else. Other would work with God. Mm. It is a blessing to put that child in your hand. You hey. never know in the future. And is that something about Akasamvuke? That thing hit a lot in me when I was uh, a mother to the children. Mukama Inaka Samvuke. He has given you three boys. You're, 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 you're praying so hard to get and you think you're the greatest mm. 
<laughs> my dear, he can take you out and get some other woman. That's true. You can enter that neighborhood and never come back. True that. And this man gets another woman. You get it? Eh? So that is very key. My God. Yeah. If you, you may, a man, you are not playing your role as a, as a, as a protector, as a provider. Come in At one time, you can regret. And it costs you nothing mm. to love that child. It costs mm. nothing. Actually, it gives the impression. Mm. It is because, because it is, once you see you are hating your child, your stepchild, it is ignorance. Mm. It is lack of wisdom. That's all. Yeah. And you, you start admiring them. Yeah. And then you've reminded me something. Mm. One thing he has done that has made me easily raise the children. Okay, one, first of all, God being the basis of it, mm. and me understanding from day, from pre, pre ahead that I have to be A, B, C, D. Mm. There is something he did. He loved the children very much. Very. Let me give you a scenario. When we were courting, so I was busy looking for my wedding gown. I'm busy, but the kids were at my home, mm. and the maid was new, so he wanted me to go back early. To, to be with the kids because the maid is new, she may not know how. Mm. Now, I don't want that. Yeah? The guy called me, where are you? I'm like, I'm still shopping. I saw Mr. Bainana raise a voice. Eh? I've never seen that voice again. Yeah? Yeah. I even broke down and cried. I was with my friends. I'm like, can you imagine this guy shouting at me? Give whatever it is and go to the kids. It, it was, you get it, yeah? <laughs> but, it, I think God was to, to make me realize this is how protective he is of his children. And I've never had that face again. It was so loud. You get it? Yeah. So, when we left the honeymoon and came back home, is the guy who goes up and in immediately he's no more. So we, we, we are in the honeymoon, we come back home. One of the first scenarios I saw, because I'm a disciplinarian, really, I'm not going to, to soothe you and your rotting. Eh? I'll pull it out. Yeah. Now I get home, uh, I meet the kids, hey, mommy, mommy. Now we began living the first week. I make a schedule. I'm like, okay, these kids, they'll take yoga at, at around break time. They'll have breakfast at, at eight, mm. breakfast at break they will have yogurt and this mm. give them something i'm giving a maid any, my sister actually not a maid any instruction because she's done who first stayed with us i'm like so at lunch could break give them something small so that they can be able to finish their lunch i want them to finish their lunch remember you have society waiting to see whether the kids will be malnourished so i'm like so that at lunch they can eat why she gave them a lot of yogurt i tell her why I told them about yoga to Mutini, lunch here to Kebal Yemeli. She said, Sandra, if I tell you what that young boy has told me, when I told him no yoga, he said, Is it yours? Are you the one who bought it? It is my daddy who bought it. So I'll take the yoga. The child went and put the yoga and to, to fool. When he came back, I went to the bedroom. I told him, Mr. Bayan, Wanji. I need permission to train my children. Can I have that permission? You know what he told me? The reason why I married is because I know there are things I cannot do as a father. So I give you full authority to discipline the children any way you can. For as long as in your heart, your so conscience is clear that you're not doing it out of anger, I release the children to you. That man released the children. Let me tell you, I went in there and did what I'm supposed to do. We you will get, eh? get. On a Sunday 